Hey guys, welcome to tonight's video. I'm so excited because our government has finally come out and confirmed that they are investigating UFO activity on our planet. I mean, I've been saying for a long time that I think the government knows a lot more than they're letting us in on when it comes to UFOs and aliens and extraterrestrial life, which I think is very unfortunate because I think as the public, we have a right to know if there is extraterrestrial life out there. I don't think it would cause mass hysteria or anything like that. I think people would take it very well and I think people would be very interested. So with them finally coming out and saying that they were actively investigating UFO activity, I think it's a step in the right direction. Um, and maybe, hopefully, in the future they will come out and let us know more information and encounters that they have had. So if you haven't been following the news that came out with this, let me fill you in a little bit. Our government has finally confirmed for the first time that they were investigating UFO activity. And now the Pentagon officially acknowledging its advanced aviation threat identification program for the first time. And they had a whole program for it within the Department of Defense. So the name of the program that the Department of Defense created was called the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program. I think the X-Files would have been a lot easier, but that's what they called it. Now this program had a $22 million budget, which is nothing compared to the $600 billion budget that the Department of Defense has. Not to mention, they kept this program under wraps. They kept it very well hidden from the public, which is just, again, is absurd to me. Brian, there's also information that former Senator Reid uh, tried to keep information about this entire program out of public view. That's right, Wolf. The New York Times says Reid acknowledged to them that he and two other senators, Ted Stevens and Daniel Inouye, both deceased, did not want public debate on the Senate floor over this program. Reid told the Times that the funding for the project was so-called black money, meaning that was secret money for classified programs. They just didn't want it talked about. You're, you're putting this money towards a program which is probably taxpayer money. You should let us know exactly what our money is going for. I, like, I for one, I don't mind paying taxes. I don't mind, I know that it's a part of life. I just wanna know exactly what my taxes are going to. You know what I mean? And I could be wrong, and it wasn't paid by tax dollars at all. And if that's the case, then just omit everything I just said. But the program was created in 2007, and it ran until 2012, supposedly. But reports are that um, they just cut the funding in 2012, and this um, program is still doing investigations to this date. Now, not only did they announce that they had this program in place, but they also released some footage that they had of um, one of their UFO encounters. Now, a lot of this money for the program actually went to a company called Bigelow Aerospace, and they work with NASA to develop um, aircrafts for humans to travel in space. But the owner of the company, Robert Bigelow, he has some stories to tell. Let me tell you, he says that his grandparents had encounters with UFOs. Robert Bigelow's story takes a turn that some may find, to put it lightly, improbable. He told us this is where his grandparents had a close encounter with a UFO. It really sped up and came right into their face and filled up the entire windshield of the car. And it took off at a, at a right angle and shot off. That he's had his own personal encounters. Do you also believe that UFOs have come to Earth? There has been and is an existing presence, uh, an ET presence. And I spent millions and millions, I probably spent more as an individual than anybody else in the United States has ever spent on this subject. And he also believes that aliens are among us right now. When you don't have to go anywhere. You can find it here. Yeah. <laughs> Where exactly? It's just like right under people's noses. Oh my gosh. Wow. 
which I totally I'm with him on this one. Um, one of my favorite people, Sylvia Brown, may she rest in peace, um, she has said many times that aliens are among us right now in our government, in politics, in Hollywood, um, and we don't even know it. Like I said earlier, I'm very excited that this information finally came out. I think it's a step in the right direction. I think they need to keep releasing information like this. I think they need to tell us more of what really went on in Roswell and what really goes on in Area 51. Um, I think people have a right to know. If there is other life forms out there, I for one would love to know and I'm sure they have a whole wealth of knowledge that we don't have and how awesome would it be to exchange knowledge with each other and further advance both races. I mean that would be amazing. How do you guys feel about this information coming out and that the government finally confirming that they are looking into UFO activity? Um, you know, I think it's just really, really cool and I hope we get more and more information um, as time goes by. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and give it a like and if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.